against lobbying, and um, lastly, what you would recommend for a do or a don't okay. around engaging and maintaining relationships with uh, congressional offices. Okay. Um, my name is Mike Coogan. I work for the campaign. Um, I live in Chantilly, so Wolf is my representative. I just moved there, so I don't know very much about his policy positions. Um, do's and don'ts. Yeah, I know he's a Republican, but you know, there's room there. I guess I would just agree with a lot of what's up there. Um, That's fine. I can't think of anything off the top of my head. My name is George Najjar. Um, I work with a group called the American Association for Palestinian Equal Rights. Uh, my representative until a few months ago was Rush Holt. I have lobbied, uh, He's been, and, and my senators are, were uh, Lautenberg and, Manette, and, uh, and Bob Menendez. Um, they're not great on the issue. Rush Holt is actually pretty good on the issue. He signed the letter, I believe, uh, about Gaza. Um, in terms of in terms of do's and don'ts, I guess, um, I mean, pretty much, I think everything up there is pretty is pretty uh, spot on. I would just say communicate your reasoning, convey the fact that you represent a, a you know a certain number of people. Don't over don't over exaggerate or or, or under emphasize it. Um, and then don'ts, I think, don't go in. Just, I mean, just to try to add something, I guess, don't go in with a sort of holier-than-thou attitude, or which could be sort of lead to an argumentative kind of... Don't be righteous. Exactly, self-righteous. Mm -hmm. There are political realities that are there, so it's important to, to understand those and, and try to uh, try to work within your district, I guess, to overcome them. Uh, my name is Cheryl. I'm from New York City 18, uh, Nidalawi, and Chuck Schumer, and... Jill Brand. Um, I don't have anything to add. <laughs> Are you meeting with Anne? Yes. Okay. Anita Lowy is for some of you who may not know is the chair of uh, State Department Appropriations. So she is the woman who manages the initial debate about whether Israel gets three billion and whether there are any amendments and so forth and makes the recommendation to the larger committee. So she's a very important person and uh, unfortunately is trying to play the, uh, we have blinders on when we look at this budget. We're neither looking at Palestinians nor Israel. You know. <laughs> I'm Victoria. I'm from California's ninth district too. So Barbara Lee. So really progressive on everything with this issue. I mean she's on I guess she's in, she has positive um, voting records in both the campaigns voting and then um, a couple of, of the other Palestine Israel groups. But she doesn't really introduce legislation. She's not proactive, excuse me, about it. She just uh, intends to co-sponsor legislation. Um, let's see, I've also the questions. Um, I, don't know if I, I don't really have that much experience. I've worked with an organization. I worked with Peace Action. <laughs> um, I worked with California Peace Action and then it became He's actually last, so I've worked with groups that have lobbied, that have lobbied, but I have never lobbied. Um, what else? I've worked on the Gaza Freedom March solidarity events in the Bay Area, and um, and I started volunteering with San Francisco Code Pink a couple months ago. So, those are my affiliations. But I don't have really anything to add with the views and things. My name is Sam Staden. Uh, I'm in District 7 in Maryland, uh, same district as Alexander over there. And the representative issued Elijah Cummings and the senators are Cardin and Mikulski. And uh, if I have a chance to actually meet with the representative or, or senator, I think I'd try to think about things in the background. Like Cummings uh, is an ex-minister, so I try to appeal to his conscience and his humanitarian ideas. He does seem to be sympathetic to, to God and to the credit of God. Uh, but for the senators, I don't know. Cardin uh, is supposed to be very humanitarian too, even though he's uh, had his support of Israel and his, I believe he's unorthodox. Uh, I'm not sure about that. And Bukowski, I'm not. Uh, well, I, I heard that 
today that she's a Catholic and did some uh, Catholic charity work, or is responsible for some Catholic charity work in, in Gaza. So that might be a good start. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. That's a very, very good uh, yeah, story. I'm Yvonne Bernardo. I'm one of the founding members of an organization in Maryland called Marylanders for Just Peace in Israel Palestine. We organized about four to five years ago. We've had some connections with Sam and with Sadia and Alex for over the years. Um, I'm, I'm a member, I'm in District 4, but I also lobby Van Hollen's <coughs> office because it's District 8, and our organization kind of covers those two districts pretty much half and half. And where I live, you nobody could tell whether you're in District 4 or District 8 because it's so gerrymandered that it's blocked like all this way. So uh, I, we met with uh, Ben Holland's aide on Friday, and we're doing that again today. But my primary focus is on Ben Edwards. Um, um, and uh, one of the, we got this advice about four years ago from a Palestinian American who had been a legislative aide on the Hill previously, and he said, um, choose one or two people in your organization to become kind of the friend of, you know, your member of Congress, one, um, and to make yourself, make yourself known as a friend and a supporter to some extent so that they'll make, pay more attention to your group. So I got assigned to be the friend of Donna Edwards, which is really nice because she's <coughs> one of the people that voted um, you know, in favor of, uh, well, against that horrible resolution to, to, to kind of push down the Goldstone Report, and she refused to vote um, in favor of the res resolution condemning Hamas for the invasion of, of Gaza and all that stuff, so she's pretty solid on our side. Um, and it's been, I guess, pretty useful, that piece of advice, I would put that down as a do, that, um, that you consider making someone in your organization a friend if you can support your work. And I do things like, I, I organized a fundraiser for her, just, you know, a house of people, like 35 people, and we raised $5,000. Um, I volunteer to go and help at the meetings that are, you know, the different events that her office is organizing, go help set up and things like that. So I got to know the chief of staff, and as well as the legislative aide that we talked to a lot. And they recognize us as a friendly organization now. And since she's under attack by APAC um, for the primary coming up in the fall, we volunteered to help out in any way we could to campaign for her and everything. And she has asked us to endorse her as a candidate. So that's pretty good. Van Hollen, on the other hand, is, doesn't see us as being an organization, has any particular clout, although we've been meeting with his aide for four years or so now. He's very accessible to meet with us and acts supportive and sympathetic, but Van Hollen never uh, votes properly. And I, we believe that it's because he has eyes on um, a potential president run, pres run for the presidency or for governor or something eventually. He's not going to do anything to damage his um, political career. And he's very powerful now that he's um, you know, big wig in the Democratic Party and stuff, so he never has time to meet with us himself, so we always need his aid. And, and that friend of uh, Don Edwards is an excellent example of mm -hmm. that. So you said this to be useful to know this. Um. So my name is uh, Louis Strauss. I work for the American Arab Anti-Discrimination Committee. Um, I, to the extent that I have a, a permanent home in this country, it's probably uh, in Massachusetts, and I've lived in both John Oliver and Richie Neal's district. Um, John Oliver's pretty good. He voted against uh, the anti-Goldstone resolution. Um, he might have been mixed in the past, but I, I don't know. I've never met him personally, so I don't know. Richie Neal has a, a worse reputation. And of course, our senators are uh, Kerry and Al Brown, who I guess doesn't really have a record yet. Um, I've lobbied. I've had like I've been to two lobbying meetings, so I'm pretty pretty new at this, but trying to get more involved. And uh, I guess one do that has been helpful is to, uh, you talk about your personal relationship to what you're lobbying. 